keeping the lights on is all about reliable electricity. And that's exactly what our grid hardening projects are doing. This is a job in Springfield where more than a dozen poles were replaced. This job consists of 13 poles uh, throughout the neighborhood. We are putting in bigger and stronger uh, poles as well as fiberglass cross arms. At this project in Alexandria, 43 poles were replaced. To keep it from breaking, the whole thought here is we do not want poles breaking. When you introduce a pole breaking into a restoration event, it takes a lot more time to uh, get the customers back on. So putting in these stronger poles and uh, these new cross arms should help that. The cross arms um, going from wood to fiberglass, obviously from an electrical standpoint, that is helpful as you know, it's not, the electricity is not gonna track across that arm. They're also meant to protect the pole by breaking before and not allowing the pole to break in the event of a catastrophic tree coming down or some kind of event affecting that pole. The new construction standard lowers the cross arms down to keep the animals from getting in between the two conductors. We are constantly looking for ways to um, make things better and, and help our customers.